So today I am replacing a bearing on a gear spindle that came out of a Woods 214 Batwing Shredder. And uh, it's got three gearboxes, uh, the, the central gearbox where the PTO goes into, and then these are the side, like the auxiliary gearboxes that run the, uh, the shredder blades underneath um, on the sides. So anyways, I had a bar, one of the, the bars that go from the center gearbox, the main gearbox to the, I guess, right gearbox, uh, if you're sitting in the tractor. And the bar kept vibrating off, breaking, um, breaking the little clamps that hold the bar in. Well, I took the actual gearbox apart and found that this um, bearing had been busted for quite some time. And that these were just uh, the barrels rolling around inside, you know, for this tapered uh bearing so these little barrel pieces here were just rolling the whole metal piece of this was actually all destroyed uh the only thing really left is the race which is here which strangely enough isn't too badly destroyed um but you can't reuse it i can't get this ring off um off of this race and put it onto here it's not set up that way but uh so i need to get this race for this bearing off of the shaft and um and it doesn't want to come off easily and i don't have a bearing puller uh which you know i probably could go get and um, if you guys have auto zones anywhere near you something like that they'll usually rent the tool for free as in you you put a deposit on the tool you take the tool and then you uh, you bring it home do what you need to do bring it back get your deposit back but i don't have any of that right now so um I am going to use a Dremel with a tiny cutoff wheel, and my plan is to cut into this race um, on both sides. So cut here, and then on 180 degrees on the other side, cut it, and then uh, get off enough where I can get maybe like a piece of a chisel or something in there, hammer it a couple times, and I'm hoping uh, that I can break the, the remaining metal because I don't want to get the cutoff wheel into... The shaft I don't want it to affect any seals or anything like that uh, if I get to that point and it doesn't want to work then I just have to hold off on the project until I can go and get a bearing puller but uh, for now I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, get that Dremel and uh, try to get this thing off so if you're dealing with the woods 214 just to let you know these bearings I pulled the bearing off and it is a uh, Timken um 387s and then this is the cup uh the cup of it is a 362a so uh so that's what you're dealing with when you're when you're dealing with the, um, the actual spindle the actual gear bearings um they're not easily accessible or they're not you can't just go get one of these i had to order this one online I had to search for it I uh, went to a couple bearing shops and uh, they didn't have these bearings in stock. So, you know, you may want to search around, um, but typically a bearing, just if you're having to replace a bearing, uh, well, at least with tapered bearings, you will typically have a cup. And this is your cup. And like I said, if you, the cup goes, like here's the, uh, the actual part that holds the, the side of the shaft on. Um, the big rod normally sticks out of here that connects you to the other gearbox. Well, so what goes here is you've got your your seal, your grease seal, and this actual grease seal is pretty good shape. So I don't want to mess it up. I don't know if they've been replaced or what, but they're they're in good shape. And then this is the cup that goes on the tapered bearing. So there's your tapered bearing, and this is the cup that that goes on it. Now. When I look these, the bearing and this cup up, they're not actually meant to go with each other. Um, but this is an old shredder, and uh, who knows what they were doing back then. So, again, the, the cup goes in here into the main, like I said, this is like the, the, the outside uh, lid or whatever that holds it. This... Uh, cup goes in pretty easy. I'm just going to tamp that in a little bit. 
uh, I haven't had any problem getting that off. What I did have a lot of pr trouble with, and I mean, I still do because it's not off, is this race. This race is probably hydraulically set, and they probably pressed that on there nice and tight many years ago, and I, uh, I just don't have the equipment with me to take it off. So again, I'm gonna try to get a Dremel, cut both sides, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. All right, so uh, one, if you've never used a Dremel tool, this is, I mean, that's the name brand Dremel, but uh, I don't know who was the first people to make those, but I just call them Dremels, but uh, it's more of a precision tool. So you've got a cutoff wheel on it, but I mean, these are, these are small cutoff wheels meant to do some very precise cuts. And if you'll look here, you can see I did a cut right here. I didn't really cut into the, uh, the main spindle there. It's just kind of, kind of nicked it as it was coming out, but, uh, but it's got a pretty good scar in there. Pretty good cut on the bearing, I mean, uh, the bearing race there. And did the same thing on this side. As you can see, it's a, uh, it's pretty good cut. Now, I'm not gonna hold the camera while I'm beating on this, but I'm gonna get a, uh, a metal chisel or metal punch, and uh, I'm gonna hammer that a few times and see if I can get it to split. If I can get it to split, then I can get that off and uh, get the new bearing on without much problems. Um, if not, well, we'll go from there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try that, and I'll be right back. All right. Um, just because it's hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time, one of these days I'm going to learn that I need to go get a tripod to do this. But I was able to succeed with what I needed to do. This was a pretty simple job. Um, like I said, you know, I, I, I cut that with the Dremel. And sadly... <laughs> <laughs> like always, this is what's uh, what's bad about having property at many different locations is I can't even find my punch set. So what did I do? <laughs> Luckily, I had a bunch of Harbor Freight hammers, which I usually buy a bunch of these, just leave them laying around. So I had two hammers, and I had one with a, I guess I'm going to call this a, a closed claw. I don't know what that's called, an open claw. So instead of a punch, I took this hammer, which had the... This is the rip hammer. Uh, I think that's what they call it. It's got a rip claw. Anyways, and I put the rip claw right in the middle of that hole, I mean of that cut, and then I used the other hammer and just gave it, I don't know, two, three whacks probably, nothing more than that. And um, if you'll see, it actually split. It's kind of hard to see, but it cracked it, right? See that cut? It cracked the metal. And I haven't moved it or anything. It already popped off that far. When it split, it just kind of popped off. So, you know, that's probably another advantage of the fact that they had to hydraulically press this on, that there was some pressure buildup on it already. And uh, when I hit it a couple times, it just popped and, and came off. So now, should be as simple as clawing this off. Again, uh, it's not gonna be easy holding the, uh, the camera, but... Um, this was pretty simple. If you have this kind of uh, issue where your bearing's busted and the race is still there, if it's easy accessible, easily accessible by uh, like a little Dremel head like this so with a little cutoff wheel. I mean, a lot of these little Dremel packs you buy, I mean, they'll come with, like this came with all kinds of stuff. I've probably had this Dremel tool uh, 20 years. I think it was one of the first tool set kind of things I bought. Um, and uh, this thing, I don't know maybe five minutes you know I take my time when I'm using the Dremel tool uh, these these cutoff wheels are very thin and flimsy so if you rush it or you push too hard you'll just uh, bust all your cutoff wheels but um, you know if you just give it some some light even pressure and, and use the uh, the RPMs up pretty high it just cuts right through those things so uh, yeah I would say that you know this saved me a trip trying to go chase down a bearing puller uh, just to put this on now to put this on um, I do have a hydraulic press so that makes it pretty easy I can just hydraulic press this bearing back on um, but really what you can do is you can just if you have a piece of pipe or something about this size now there's a lip as you can see that race isn't perfectly flat with that so I definitely would not just go in there and start hammering at a bearing or you know because you're gonna bust that bearing I mean, these bearings are supposed to be tight so I would definitely find you something that's either perfectly 
round around this or to find you a hydraulic press or something of that nature that can push this down because if you start hammering on this bearing to uh to try to get it in there you're just going to be replacing that bearing pretty soon so um but that's it you know if you need to get some leftover bearing race off of a shaft i mean that's uh like i said that didn't take very much at all just a couple hits of a hammer and uh it's ready to go so uh anyways i hope this was very helpful and uh again if you have a um a shredder or any kind of old old piece of equipment that you need you really you can look on the inside of these bearings if you can get the the race off or if you can find another bearing and there's part numbers on all of this stuff so um so hopefully that'll help you also find uh what you're looking for so anyways i hope this video was helpful you guys take care until next time and there it is there's the new bearing installed and uh everything's good i actually used the race that I cut um, as the as the way to hammer this on I was able to I put it with the the small side down like this and I used it as the uh, the punch to put it on instead of using my hydraulic press I mean it only took me a couple minutes to get that thing hammered down I uh, I used the old race to hammer it down so that way I knew I was just hitting the race and uh, then of course when that thing's seated all the way down I uh, just popped that thing back off again. It was already cut, so made it nice and simple. I hope all this stuff helps. I'll take care.